Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey. With my Fountain Pen Journey review of six years. It's been over six years since I started using fountain pens and just over six years since I began Fountain Pen Journey here on YouTube. And I've learned a lot. I've also got a lot of knowledge. Um, and here are my thoughts. Uh, because I do have some some things that I need to tell you about because hey six years of this journey the journey is kind of it's not come to an end but it's certainly uh, going in a different direction now so keep watching thanks um six years ago I was so into fountain pens really new really exciting great time set up a YouTube channel because there'd been some channels that I really enjoyed watching over those years, uh, over those months getting into fountain pens and kind of wanted to do my own take on it and it, it was new, exciting and there was a lot to learn and I wanted to share my fountain pen journey and it is a journey. One thing that I never really considered at the time when you have like zero subscribers on YouTube is those subscribers build over the years. And those subscribers might not have happened to have been with you from the start. So the fountain pen journey, the actual journey part of it, goes a bit um, a bit awry when you're actually sort of thinking, well, I reviewed the Lamy Safari way back when, or the Jinhao X450 way back when. Two years later, that context, if you've got a new subscriber or somebody, typical YouTube, recommended video oh here's the thing and that person sees a review of a different color of the Lamy Safari and it's like well why is he slating this particular nib my safaris are all fine yeah I did those reviews back then but you didn't see them you haven't been shown those videos so it's kind of yeah a lot to learn um and it's been it's been interesting there's been some fantastic people on this uh, on this channel as my subscribers and thank you to all of those especially those who've been with me on this fountain pen journey right from the start um i'm not going to mention names you know who you are you're probably going to put a comment down below so yeah you've you've been with me from the start so thank you to all of those people i will say that over this six year period I've bought an awful lot of fountain pens and my buying of fountain pens has kind of declined over the last couple of years simply because I, I've, I've got so many fountain pens and for me to purchase a fountain pen now it would have to be something that I really want. 2023, for example, the cheapest fountain pens, Lamy Safaris, their special editions this year were even less appealing than last year 2022 special editions so as much as they're cheap and four years ago certainly i'll buy them anyway it doesn't matter i'll buy whatever color of the fountain pens that i enjoy using nowadays no not so much hopefully 2024 will have some nicer special edition colors because i'm quite honestly a bit sick of seeing pastel versions Pastel colours don't do it for me. Um, you know, 82s. No. Sailor type pen, pastel colours, not for me. And these pens, quite honestly, they, they suck. Too, too hit and miss. Not a fan. <sighs> what can I say? I've learned a lot. I've enjoyed doing what I do. And I've enjoyed using the fountain pens, and I still do. Still write every day with fountain pens at work. Journal every evening at home with fountain pens. Very enjoyable. Yeah. Lamy Safaris. There's always Lamy Safaris in my life. <laughs> always a Lamy Safari. Um, yeah. Six years. Six years I've learned a lot about paper. Um, learned a lot about inks and the fact that I now have plenty of ink. I have absolutely no inclination to buy any more new inks, um, even if it might be a nice colour. I, I just have so much ink, 
I've got all the colours I could ever want, so yeah, no, I'm, I'm not into buying inks. I haven't bought any inks for three years now. Um, fountain pens, I buy the ones that I actually like now, and over six years I thought I'd be niching down into something which was very specific. And I thought way back in the start of my fountain pen journey I'd be looking at Jin Hao fountain pens only, Cheap Chinese fountain pens, maybe a bit. Over the last four years, I've seen prices increase on the Chinese fountain pens. They're no longer dirt cheap, so therefore I'm a lot more selective about any of them that I buy. Um, German fountain pens, I thought I'd be well into German fountain pens. No, I'm just buying what I enjoy the look of and what I know will be a decent writing experience, fun to write with. Things like that. Um, vintage pens, never really got into those. I've bought one or two over the years. Um, which, if they're at the right price, fantastic. That's a winner. Cheap fountain pens, that's what my channel has always been about. Um, so, yeah, I, I've kind of... I've never really... I've always been quite diverse in my actual taste. I like stupidly coloured fountain pens. Here we go. Let's have a look at... Yeah, there we go, Laban Skeleton Rainbow. Yeah, crazy colours. And my most recent Christmas present from my wife, the Bennu Euphoria Christmas Twinkle. Yep, glitzy fountain pens, but I also like the basics. Lamy, Saf uh, Lamy Safari, Lamy 2000. Classic 60s design, excellent really happy um so yeah i'm diverse and my tastes have not really found a niche and, and they never will after six years i thought i would very quickly niche down into something specific no that's where my journey's headed and it's always going to be in that direction of buying the few pens that i actually really want to write with and enjoy using so where are we now? Six years. And I will say that six years of fountain pen journey for me, putting myself out there. I know I've not done as many videos in 2023 as in previous years. And the reason being is quite honest, you know, to be a YouTuber, you have to be full time, dedicated to doing YouTube videos. It doesn't work for me. Um, it's one of those things I almost quit right at the start of Fountain Pen Journey after some rather horrible comments on YouTube videos and it's like, hey, I'm doing this for free. I spend my own money on these fountain pens. If you don't want to see it, then fine. Um, I won't do it. And over the course of 2023, the incentive to make videos and certainly even being monetized, it's not. It's just not there. You don't earn hardly any money from AdSense on YouTube. I spend a lot of money on my own fountain pens, so it costs way more than any of the revenue that I try to claw back in any way. It's just not one of those things that's worthwhile. Um, to dedicate all of my time to making YouTube videos every weekend, no, my life's moved on. Back in six years ago I mean I, I was in a different place I had more free time um, it was an exciting time from fountain pens because you could still get really cheap fountain pens lots of them and uh, I know it was all new it was a case of buy that buy that buy that not now um, pens are more expensive cost of living and everything else if you want to use that argument but I, I, I'm more selective about my purchases and certainly time is not something that I have much of these days and certainly to record a video can take ages, edit it, upload it and all the rest of it. Even though I'm very basic with what I do, it's just not enjoyable to lose that amount of time every weekend doing it. It's, it's, kind, it's kind of... What's the what's it worth? I mean, I reviewed the um, special edition twenty twenty three Bennu Euphoria Hallowed Harvest. 
and after six weeks it only had something like 304 views and one of my viewers actually said you know this is this is crazy you should you should have more views than that i'm not interested if the algorithm and my viewers or the fencing pen community isn't interested in my fencing pen videos then why why should i spend hours and hours of my time doing them every month and it's just not worth it so it's not the end of the journey because i am going back to running my blog fountain pen journey blog it was something that i started back in march 2018 i think it was um and then went back to youtube it was like no sorry i'm gonna actually do the youtube videos but I enjoy writing, I enjoy making notes, things like that for blogs. But doing it for videos is kind of just... Oof. If you don't enjoy doing something, then don't do it. And I've seen all sorts of uh, people over the years sort of come and go, and they go, oh, I don't, I've stopped doing this because I don't enjoy it. I'm the same, you know, do what pleases you in life. And I wish you all the very best for the future if you choose not to follow my blog because I'm going to leave the uh, the um, in the description down below I'll leave the link to the blog uh, down there because I will be putting things on there instead I may do the occasional YouTube video if I feel motivated enough or there's something that I really want to put across in a video and I will try to keep the channel going that way because obviously you know there are a lot of pen reviews out there and I'd, I'd sooner not see them go and hey even if the fencing pen community isn't bothered about them then there may be somebody out there certainly the noodlers ahab uh fix for when it doesn't write is a hugely popular video of mine and it's, it's one of those things kind of I'm seeing people vote with their feet and it's like, if you don't like my videos, then I'm not going to do them, but I will enjoy doing my own blog. And if they get 20 views and they're the 20 people who enjoy my blogs, then great. Because there's probably about 20 people who enjoy watching every single one of my videos. So I hope you uh, go over to uh, Blogger <laughs> and um, have a look at my blog there because it's it's... It's going to be, for me, a much more pleasure, pleasurable experience. Um, putting yourself on YouTube for all and sundry. And let's face it, the fencing pen community is no different to any others. There are some people out there who are... not try not to swear. Uh, but, yeah, not, not an enjoyable experience. So, heading over to Blogger. I will see you again because I will obviously do the odd video every now and then. But thank you to all of those who've you, who've viewed me over these last six years, and it's, it's some of it has been great. Really enjoyed some of it. Twenty twenty three, been in our new home for a couple of years, and this is where we basically intended on moving when I started Fountain Pen Journey. All that time ago i mean six years ago we were going to move to this area and now we're here and it's like i've got a different life and i'm enjoying different aspects of that life and just sitting around every weekend recording videos just doesn't do it so but one thing i'm looking forward to is writing the blogs already got a huge list just brainstormed and it was like forget about the fencing pen reviews that i want to do i've got a huge list of subjects, topics and things that I actually want to write about. So I'm really looking forward to that in 2024. So that's where Fountain Pen Journey is going to be on Blogger. So once again, link down below and hopefully I'll see you there. And if not, thanks for all the fish. Take care. Bye.